Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 if we're here beginning with another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going ahead and building the M16 multiple gun uh, motor carriage, also known as the M16 half track. This was an American self-propelled anti-aircraft weapon built during World War II. It was equipped with four 50 caliber M2 Browning machine guns and a M45 quad mount. 2700 were produced by the White Motor Company from May 1943 to March of 1944. The chassis were derived from the T1 E2 chassis, an earlier version of the M13. Uh, it's based on an M3 half track chassis that replaced the M13 motor gun, uh, or, uh, sorry, my bad, multiple gun motor carriage half track uh, after early 1944. As aircraft became more advanced, the usefulness of the M16 was reduced, and it was used in the Korean War to be mainly, mainly a ground support vehicle, so an anti infantry role. Uh, but it was later put out of service in the U.S. Army uh, in 1940 or 1951. Um, anyways, this vehicle itself is uh, pretty awesome. I uh, definitely love half tracks. I think they're pretty cool with the amount of versatility that were uh, involved with these half tracks and you know all that kind of stuff. Mounting you know 75 millimeters onto them to make them you know anti tank destroyers, and uh, you know it's just kind of it's just kind of interesting how uh, you know the we're able to fit so many different configurations for this uh you know type of half track uh the m16 is really cool again it's 50 cal uh 50 uh 450 cows it's pretty crazy that's a lot of firepower to put down um but again you know during the war aircraft got more advanced so you know having ground support uh based weaponry uh wasn't as useful as um it uh well you know used to be uh, so, anyways, uh, this is a redesign for the M16. I believe I did a design for it a while ago, so this will be replacing that design uh, for it. Definitely a nice improved design over it, more detail, better shaping all the way around for the vehicle. And um, overall, just looks a whole lot better, so hope you guys do enjoy the build. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly we're going to be going ahead and building. Just take a look at it, 360 view, and we'll move into the tutorial. So, start off with, uh, we have the front up here nothing uh real fancy with it just pretty simple um all together uh i got fuel tanks mounted on either side to appear on either side uh the driver and uh, passenger compartments located here so you have the driver and the passenger that would be able to see, sit in there um they have the you know little uh you know holes here on the sides to be able to see around and this one right here has the uh front kind of panels closed uh to you know keep that you know the driver's section kind of uh you know covered and protected from small arms fire uh continuing on we have the uh this is section back here i believe there's a radio mounted back here uh various different uh bits of supplies and stuff put in this area extra drums uh, 50 caliber bullets and all that kind of stuff to um you know be able to reattach and refill ammo if needed um, sometimes I've seen pictures as well with one of these towing behind a little tra trailer that probably was filled with more ammunition for it. So that's something you can add on. I believe I did a tutorial for a little trailer that pretty much is exactly what you would want for this. Um, not too long ago, so you guys can look at that. Um, then you have this the uh, M45 quad mount here. So the gunner would sit right here, would be able to you know operate the guns and uh, be able to fire at enemy aircraft and everything like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the half track overall. Uh, definitely came out pretty good. Nice design for it. And hope you guys do enjoy the build. And without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we're gonna go ahead and start off with layer one. For layer one, we're gonna go ahead and start off by taking our narrow brick stairs. We're gonna go ahead and place down two stairs, which are gonna be go ahead and they're gonna be upside down, back to back, just like this to make the right front tire. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three stone brick tops that across like this. And we're going to place down another narrow brick upside down stair and one right behind it. So we create something that looks like that. We have the axle that goes across and the wheels on both sides there. So they're for your front wheels like that. After uh, that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically go from our center stone brick top side. We're going to go and place down a couple of placeholder blocks. We're going to skip one and two spaces and then place down another row of three of stone brick top sabs that goes across the front like that. Where they're going to go and delete those two placer blocks so we had something that looks just like this in the front after we have that done we're going to go ahead and count back from these narrow brick stairs one two three blocks where they're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair just like that and it's going to be the same thing over here on this side again three blocks back from this nether brick upside down stair like that and we can delete those placer blocks 
After we have that complete, we're going to go ahead and take dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down one and two dark oak wood stairs like this. Same thing over here. One and two dark oak wood stairs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs again. We're going to go off the back of this stair. We're going to place down one and two. And one and two going back. Followed by another brick up down stair coming off the front of those stairs. So you get something that looks like that back here for the tracked part of the vehicle. On the sides, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four item frames across those dark oak wood stairs with one, two, three, and four. Uh, green stained clay blocks in those four item frames and we're also going to place down signs on the side of these stairs so it kind of covers up the item frames and gives a design that looks something like that on the side there uh, we then want to go to the air side here do the exact same thing so item frames across green stained clay in the item frames and signs as well just like this going across and like that so you get something that looks like that for the side there again same thing on both sides after we have that done we're going to take a um, Magenta will block in between these narrow stairs or just a block in general. We're going to place down a place or a block right here in the middle. We're then going to place down one and two stone brick top steps going back like so. We're going to delete that um, place order block and we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up on both sides of this first stone brick top step here. Um, so you get something that kind of looks like that from up above. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like past the uh, narrow brick stairs. So not in line with them, but it's one block kind of forward of them like so. Uh, once you guys have that all finished, that's going to do it for layer 1 in the base of our vehicle. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 2. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to start off by taking some narrow brick stairs and place down two narrow brick stairs back to back like down top of those upside down narrow brick stairs. Uh, we're going to do the same thing over here for the left front wheel. So we have the right front and left front wheel, um, which looks something like this. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and uh, go up here to the uh Front, or basically going off these first uh, another brick stairs here. We're gonna place down a another brick upside down stair like this on both sides, with a spruce wood plank there in the center. And actually, these stairs need to be flipped so that they're gonna be with their backs to the spruce wood um, plank. So you get something that looks just like that. After that's done, we're gonna place down a green stained clay block on the center stone brick top side there, followed by what is going to be a uh, cobblestone wall on both both these uh, stone brick top sides on both sides there. After that's done right there, we're going to go and take stone brick stairs, or sorry, dinner brick, or dark oak stairs. We're going to have them placing, coming off these uh, upside down uh, dark oak stairs from the side there. We also want to go and grab ourselves end rods. We're going to place down an end rod on both sides of these stairs and also in between them like that for the front bumper. After that's done there, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs on top of this, the, this uh, row of stone brick top slabs with a sign on both sides of this row of three like that. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay across, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down another row of three of green stained clay across, followed by again a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. Continuing on, we're going to place down a, um, we're actually going to place down a dark oak wood slab in the spot. So since we do have a bit of interior showing in this build, uh, we actually want to go ahead and take these uh, two green stained clay blocks here. We're going to turn these to dark oak wood slabs. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood um, slab and place down a birchwood slab like this on both sides right there. Um, that's going to be for your seat there. In between them, uh, we're just going to place down a uh, green stained clay block, which is just going to go in between them like so. Um, after that, we're going to place down an upside down uh, dark oak wood stair just like this on both sides like that. Um, once that's done there, we're going to take our green stained clay blocks, we're going to place down a row of five all the way across. We then want to grab ourselves a stone button, we're going to place down a stone button on both ends, followed by a item frame, again, on both sides, just like that. Continuing on, we're going to place down a uh, nether brick top slab on both sides like this, followed by, again, a row of three of green stained clay in between those blocks. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three of green stained clay blocks across. We're also going to grab ourselves an end rod, we're going to place down an end rod coming off those two nether brick top slabs. Uh, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood uh, upside down stair coming off the end rod, just like this, and same thing over here, dark oak wood upside down stair, and a row of three green stained clay in between that dark oak wood stair. Um, on the sides of these stairs, we're going to place down an iron frame with a green stained uh, clay block in it, and also a sign covering it up, same thing over here, just like this, um, so you can something that kind of looks like that. After that's done there, we're going to take our green stained clay again, place down a row of three across, followed by another brick top slab on both ends. We then want to place down a row of five of green stained clay across, followed by an iron frame and a stone button on the green stained clay blocks on both sides, just like that. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, which is going to come off of this uh, green stained clay block 
uh, both sides just like this like that and then in between uh these stairs here we're gonna place down a green sink mid block on both sides and we're also gonna place down a spruce wood plank there in the middle uh, after that's done, we're going to place down a stone button on those two green snake bait blocks. And we also want to grab ourselves a green banner and place down a green banner come off the back of those uh, dark oak wood stairs, just like that. After you guys have that all finished, that's going to do it for uh, layer two. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer three. All right, guys, moving on to layer three. For layer three, we're going to start off by taking a spruce wood stair. We're going to place it down on top of the spruce wood plank up here in the front. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides of that spruce wood plank. We're also going to place down a dark oak wood slab, come off both sides of these dark oak wood stairs to go ahead and cover up the wheels like that for the fender. Uh, we're then going to place down an iron frame on those two dark oak wood slabs with a glass block in the iron frame and also a sign that covers up or that's on the uh, side of this uh, dark oak wood half slab as well, like that on both sides to create your front headlights. Um, with that done, we're going to go and continue on behind the stairs. We're going to place down a row of three green stain clay, followed by a dark oak wood uh, slab on both sides. After that's done, there we're going to place down a uh, snow block in the middle so a snow block in the middle here followed by again a green stink bay block on both sides uh, right here we're gonna go and grab ourselves some shulker boxes we're gonna place down a shulker box on both sides like this this would be kind of our jerry cans on the sides here and we're also gonna place down a sign on the side of the shulker box like so <clears throat> after that's done there we're gonna go ahead and take a green stink bay block and place it down on the center um, come off the center kind of snow block like that we're then gonna place down an upside down dark oak wood stair like this on both sides we also want to place down a dark oak wood slab on this green snake wood block in the middle there uh, on the sides come off these dark oak wood upstairs we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides followed by a spruce wood plank that goes back from the mossy cobblestone wall and also on the spruce wood plank we're going to place down a uh, tripwire hook on both sides like that continuing on we're going to take our green snake play we're going to place down a row of five all the way across we're going to grab a stone button and place it down on both ends of this row of five green snake play um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden trap doors and we're going to place down a row of two or basically just two wooden trap doors on the inside here for the backrest of the front seats. Uh, with once that's done there we're going to take our green stain clay we're going to go back uh, along here we're going to place down one and two blocks back one and two and we're also going to grab ourselves a snow block and place down a snow block on both sides like this with a stone button on it. We're then going to take our green stain clay we're going to go back one two and three blocks one two and three and a stone button on both sides of the um, third block back. Um, once we have that done across the middle here, we're gonna place down a green stink wood block on both sides and also a spruce wood plank there in the center with a tripwire hook coming off of it. We also wanna take our green stink wood blocks and come off the corner blocks. We're gonna place down one more green stink wood block going back on both sides. And we're just gonna take signs and wrap it around the green stink wood blocks. So just like this on both sides, we're just gonna take signs and wrap them around like so. Uh, once you guys have uh, that done there, um, that is going to pretty much do it for this layer, uh, layer 3. And with that, we'll go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. Before we move on to layer 4, I want to make one quick addition to layer 3. Uh, so for layer 3, we also want to go ahead and get the mount of our gun established. So for this, we're going to place down a green stink lid block here in the center like this. And we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming up on both sides of that uh, green stink lid block. That right there is going to be the mount, the start there for the... Uh, m45 uh, quad mount and in addition you can also add in some uh, supplies and stuff like that in this uh, back section here um, so basically what I did for mine is I just went ahead and put some sandstone half slabs running along the side here and there a green stain clay block with the stone button on the side um, to kind of match the design here for the uh, boxes here for the ammo and also I uh, went ahead and placed down a dark liquid slab on top of it um, and then I went ahead and put another one over here on this side kind of the same kind of design stuff like that so you guys can kind of switch it up do some different details on the inside here kind of make it um your own and everything like that uh but that's basically what i did for mine and uh with that let's go ahead and move on to our next layer which is going to be layer four all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer four for layer four what we want to do to get started is we're going to go and place down a um scalp or basically a zombie head here on both sides on top of the shulker boxes um and try not to break the shulker boxes like i just did so let me go and fix that and you're just going to place down a zombie head on top of both of them like that on both sides. After that's done, we're also going to place down some stone buttons on these green stink wood blocks up here in the front. After that, we're going to go back here to this section with the upside down dark wood stairs, green stink wood blocks. We're going to place down a row of three green stink wood across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides of it. We also want to place down a stone button on 
uh, kind of like both sides there of that row three green stink wave for the little view ports there for the driver and passenger. After that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Go back from this uh, mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We want to go ahead and go to the left side. We're going to place down a green banner. We're going to work our way over to the right side by placing down a sandstone slab, followed by two dark oak wood upside down stairs. So one upside down stair like this and one upside down stair facing it like so. We're going to place down a sign on the side of the stair here and also a row of two signs across the side of the stairs over here on this side. We then want to place down a zombie head coming off the side of this dark oak wood uh, stair and we're then going to place down a iron bar going up from the zombie head like this uh, which is going to be our radio antenna which is going to go up a total of four blocks like that. Uh, continuing on we're going to place down a green carpet on uh, both sides here on top of this green sink wave block so just like that on both sides. We're going to go ahead and take this carpet back all the way to the rear here so we're going to go ahead and go back one two three four and five. One, two, two, three, four, and five to give you a total of six. And we're just going to place down a row three in between them uh, like that to kind of fill that space in. Uh, once we have that all done, it's time to kind of work on our quad mount. So for this, we're going to place down a green stink wave block on top of this mossy cobblestone wall. This could be whatever direction you want the gun facing. So we're going to have it facing forward. We're going to place down the green stink wave block on this side. Um, after that, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, birchwood slab, which is going to be a birch with the seat there. So birchwood slab like that. Followed by a stone brick stair, like this on both sides. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab on the left side. Followed by a anvil in the middle and a skeleton skull coming off the side here of the anvil to the right side like so. Uh, once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer uh, 4. With that, we'll move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to be uh, layers uh, 5, uh, 6, and 7. We're going to put the turret on and... Uh, all that stuff and pretty much finish the top of the build off. So with that, let's go and move on to our last final layers, 5 through 7. Alright guys, move on to our last final layers. We have layers 5 through 7. To go ahead and get started here, we're just going to start off by taking green carpet. We're going to place down a row across these three green stink bait blocks. We're also going also to place down a green carpet on top of these dark oak wood upstand stairs on both sides. And we're also going to place down a row two on top of these two upstand dark oak wood stairs right there after it. Once we have that done, we're going to basically focus all the rest of our attention now to finishing this back turret up. Uh, so to go ahead and get started, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green stink wave block right up here. Um, we then want to go ahead and go back from that uh, stair. So we're going to go and just place down a place block. We're going to go back from it. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like this on both sides of that block. We're going to delete that block in the middle. So we still have this empty space left open right here. After we have that done, we're going to go and place down a uh, wooden trap door, which is going to be on top of this birch wood slab. So you, and you're gonna uh, open it up so it looks something like that. Behind the uh, wooden trap door, we're gonna place down an air brick fence post, followed by a sign coming off the air brick fence post. We then want to grab ourselves an anvil. We're gonna place down an anvil on top of this air brick slab and an anvil on top of this skeleton school on both sides. And coming off the back of the um, anvil, we're gonna place down a skeleton, uh, wither skeleton school on both sides, and signs also on the sides of these anvils. Uh, we also want to take a green stink wave block. We're going to place down a green stink wave block coming off the two stone brick stairs on both sides like so. Going ahead and going up to our next uh, row up. We're going to place down a zombie head, which is going to be on top of this dark oak wood stair. So a zombie head like that. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off both sides of the zombie head. So just like that. And we're also going to go ahead and grab our end rods and we're going to place down one and two end rods coming off these two stone brick stairs on the bottom here and two end rods coming off the top two stone brick stairs as well. Behind that stone brick stair we're going to place down an anvil on both sides followed by a skeleton skull directly behind those anvils. On top of this green stake wave block right here on both sides we're going to place down an air dark oak wood slab on top of them. And then come off the dark oak wood slab uh, next to these Alrighty guys, sorry about that. For some reason, rain was turned on in my world. I really don't know why that was, considering that I have it turned off. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. So uh, basically, we have our section here. We're going to go ahead and place down a green stake wave block on both sides of this stone brick stair. Um, then we want to also go ahead and place down some stone buttons coming off the front here of the green stake wave blocks like that. So it shows up that looks like this from the front so far. After that, um, on the back section here, we don't really have anything to add. This whole section is kind of finished up here. So we're going to go to the top now on top of these green stinky blocks, place down a dark oak wood slab on both sides. And we're going to take our end rods and place down a row of uh, three here of end rods in between those dark oak wood slabs across the top there, just like that. 
after you guys have that all done that's going to pretty much do it for the m16 uh multiple gun motor carriage hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial for it it's a pretty cool little design for it and a nice redesign for the m16 if you guys do use this design, do I think you guys give me proper credit for it. this being thing from a side of the build, tweak my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. Be sure to, as long as I get proper credit for the build, you're free to use the proper projects you guys are working on and giving credit be as simple as just mentioning my name, uh, linking my channel, this video, or just simply putting a sign on the build. Um, either one of those is good, and as long as you guys give me credit, you're free to use the forever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is McGarrett204, and I'll see you guys next time.